Today I'm going to show you how to make an exit ticket using Google Forms. Go to the template gallery. Scroll down for more templates pertaining to education. Select the exit ticket template. I recommend naming your ticket based on the topic and the day you've created it so it's easier to find in your Google Drive. Then you can add directions. The exit ticket template comes with the option to collect email, but I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to select that frame and delete it. If you've changed your mind, you can always select undo. Each question can be duplicated, deleted, or required. You can also add a video by clicking the play button to the right hand side. I've copied and pasted a video link to a division lesson. Once I hit select, it'll show up on my form. If you select the video frame, it'll give you the option to align it. Then your video will be embedded in the form. Students will not have to navigate to outside sources such as YouTube to watch it. Anytime you want to add a question, you click the plus sign to the right hand side. There are many options for questions. The first is short answer. You can then select answer key and type in the correct answer students are supposed to give and also require it. The next type of question is a paragraph question. This question I put at the very end of the form as a reflection. Students can give me questions that they have after they view the lesson. Next is multiple choice. You can then select the answer key just the same and select the correct answer. That way the form can be graded when the students submit it. You can also assign point values. The next question is checkbox questions. That's good for when you have multiple correct answers for one question. You can also assign a different point value. A drop down question is like a multiple choice question. It just has a drop down option rather than showing all the choices. A linear scale is something I also like to add as a self reflection tool. Students can rate how well they understood a lesson all the way up to 10. I've only stopped it here at 5. You can customize the rankings as well. 1 is still don't get it, 5 is I got it. Multiple choice grid means that students are given a sentence or a question and they can select one of two or three answers. It's up to you, but they can only select one per row. A checkbox grid question, however, they can check multiple answers to one row. There's also an option to add a date. I'm not going to require students to turn it in daily, so students can tell me when they've accessed the lesson. Likewise with the time, I'm going to ask the students to tell me when they've started the lesson, because once they submit it, it's going to timestamp that. Then I can track the duration of the lessons. You can select this eye to preview the form before you send it out to students. And then you can click send and send the link via email, or I recommend putting it on your Google Classroom. Once you've logged into that, select the Classwork tab, select Create, and select Quiz Assignment. You're going to be able to add this now from your Google Drive. When you select My Drive, you should see that your form is there. Select it and select Add. It'll populate there on the bottom, and all the other assignment options will be the same. You can add a title, add instructions, add points or leave it ungraded, add a due date, and create a topic. I've put this under math. Now you're ready to assign. It'll show up in two places your classroom stream or under classwork under the topic math.